What's one of the most effective ways to beat your opponent in football? That's right, something as simple as a turn. Yep, you guessed it. Because today we're going to teach you how to get better and more efficient at turning so you can create that vital space for yourself and completely boss it on the pitch. And today I'm going to boss it on the pitch wearing the magnificent looking Vapor 12 Elite from the Nike Euphoria mode pack which also featured these awesome looking bad boys. And if you want to be among the first people to rock these in the world, you know what to do. Go to our website and buy them via the link right up there. The best way to learn is to look at the pros out there. And what we can see from masters like Silva, Pogba, Isco and Eden Hazard is that they try to create space with their turns here. And you can really see how they're constantly looking around, trying to see where the defender is and then move into the space that he's leaving behind. And also you can see how they're really using their body to shield the ball to prevent them from being dispossessed by a potential incoming tackle. We can kind of split the turns into two. One, where you turn as you receive the ball to face in the right direction to buy yourself a little bit of time to do something good with it. And two, where you have the ball and simply need to shake off the defender with your turn so you can face in the right direction and have a little bit of time there as well. But the funny thing is that the same technique and principles actually apply to both of the turns. The key here is how you position your body. Obviously, you need to have a decent technique so you can keep the ball close. But what we're looking for on the turn is to stay oriented on where the defender is and then have a low center of gravity. So try to angle your body a little bit so you don't constantly show your full back to the defender, but instead turn it a little bit to show him the shoulder and the side as well. Because this stance will help you often as defenders tend to come a little bit too close. So standing like this, you can constantly look over your shoulder to see how close he is and where he leaves space in behind him, which gives you the opportunity to determine when to turn and where. And then when you do turn, make sure that you make a good touch to the side out of his reach and also that you bend down in your knees. A, to make your body a little bit wider to protect the ball, but B, to make sure that you're a little bit more agile and explosive when you move away. You'll quickly learn that timing is of the essence, which you can only learn against a real opponent. But you can still train your turns very efficiently. To practice turns when you receive a pass, you need an obstacle you can have behind you acting as a defender. That could be a pole, and then some way of getting the ball to you. That could be something bouncing the ball back from, or simply having a friend feeding you the ball. But here you then approach the ball, you call for it, you angle your body a little bit and bend down in your knees. And when the ball comes to you, you use either the inside or the outside of either foot, whichever feels better, to take a touch around the defender and then follow the ball. And make sure, force yourself to always have your body protecting the ball in between the ball and the defender. To train turns with the ball, I usually set up two cones that I can use to then do all little sorts of turns in between. That could be the silver 360 degree turn with the inside of your foot. It could be the sole roll. It could be the cut with a little body feint, or basically whatever you want to do. Just make sure, again, that you constantly force yourself to keep your body between the ball and the defender. What you don't want to do is to make flashy turns when you don't have to and there's no one around you. So constantly orientate yourself, look over your shoulder and listen to your teammates. And if there's no one at your back and the ball is coming, you can simply turn around with the drag and face forwards, maximizing the space. It doesn't have to be harder than that. So there you have it, my friends, some tips on how you can get better at turning with the ball. But do you have any questions or suggestions as to what we should teach you next? Well, as always, you should let us know in the comment section right down below. And after you've learned the new turning tips, you should go and treat yourself to a pair of the new Nike Euphoria mode boots that you can buy from our website if you click the link right over there. What you should also do is go subscribe to our channel with the notifications on by clicking the green bubble right over there, and then go learn some more skills if you click the playlist right down there. With that said, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.